All right, guys, TF2's most bullied player. Let's check it out. This profile belongs to one of the most bullied players in Team Fortress 2. The most bullied players in the whole of TF2. Let's see. Holding an MS collection of comments harassing them since early 2015 that continue to this. Dude, why? Why, man? I'm saying some of the meanest things, man. Guys. <laughs> Today, because of one simple mistake, he deleted a digital golden pan from his inventory. To those who don't understand the impact of deleting the specific item from your inventory, Team Fortress 2 has a wide array of weapons with different stats that players can choose from that can come in different item qualities that change the text color and can track kills from the weapon, most of which are pretty affordable. But this normality would change. Okay. So it must be a special golden pan then, right? Because if, you know, a golden pan would be a lot of money in real life. You know what I mean? So let's see. On November 21st, when the creators of the game added a payable game mode in which players would defend against a horde of robots to win weapons with robotic attachments. And the okay, okay. rare chance of winning a gold variant for a selection of items in a time where weapon skins didn't exist. This, in combination of the extreme rarity and popularity of specific items, boosted prices up to $100 in real currency. And yeah, so TF2 got a uh, like CSGO knife kind of a game, it seems. $100. It came an achievement for any player to celebrate, but it comes nowhere close to winning a golden pan, an event so significant that the game would broadcast a notification to every player in game. Shining a Strange professional killstreak golden frying pan. A spotlight imbued with the ancient power of attention on the player, causing them to receive imbued, imbued, just like the rings in RuneScape. An influx of friend requests, comments, and accompanying celebratory screams from their teammates. The first person to experience this was a player named Majin, who just four days after the update released completed his fifth round of the four missions required to receive a drop, and was the first person to ever hold a golden pan in Team Fortress 2. Oh snap! That, 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 must, that goes down in history then, right guys? First person ever. He appeared in the video showcasing the item's ability to turn enemies into gold upon death. A similar- Whoa! Dude! He just turned into like a golden statue. He's he's Another done for. To Greek mythology's King Midas, who was once granted a wish and chose the power to turn anything he touched into gold. Majin immediately put it up for trade, and on the next day sold it for a total of five thousand five hundred dollars. Oh my gosh, dude! Not bad for playing some TF2, right guys? Dollars, setting the price at which this new item was now worth. Over time, many more pans would be dropped and sold, but it was Arcom 5 who had already held a collection of many valuable items, sought out for much larger, and having the opportunity to do so, added golden pan number 56 to that collection, giving him an instant boost to the value of his inventory. What happened next wasn't too- Damn, bro, that's quite a bit. Thought they were gonna only make- Thought it was gonna be worth so much because they only made like a limited amount, but 56 now? Far off from the rest of the story of King Midas, who now had a sudden and limitless source of wealth from the touch of his finger as he turned his surroundings into pure gold, excitedly running home to convert his- Guys, you think it's like the strongest weapon in the game or something? I, I haven't played TF2 that much. Garden of Roses into gold, and ordering his servants to prepare a feast, all before the terrifying realization as a food he bit into had already turned into solid gold. You see, Arkham may have realized that his newly found position wasn't all glamour. While many people would go far to fulfill their materialistic cravings, just like King Midas, Arkham found that it came with a price, which in this case is what I would call the Golden Pan Phenomenon, which is the- Golden Pan Phen- oh my gosh, he's coming up with new terms and everything here, guys. Currents of when your teammates surround you upon seeing the symbol of wealth that you hold in your hand. Running up to screenshot- Oh my gosh. Yo, if you could show it off, that'd be cool, that'd be cool. I ain't paying no $5,500 for it ever though, you know what I mean? And further putting you in the spotlight through voice or text chat, for the sole reason that you possess an item of high value. The story of Midas would continue as he would go on to hate and oppose the idea of wealth, moving to the countryside and becoming a worshipper of Pan, which was the name of the Greek god of the field and satyr. <laughs> oh my gosh. Arkham followed similarly, in which the abundance of his materialistic wealth and his disgust of the attention it gave him led him to make the irreversible choice to delete his pan on January 11th, 2015. This of course only amplified his problems. Oh man. He just deletes a, a golden- wow man. Because little did Arkham know that deleting a golden pan would broadcast a similar message to every player in Team Fortress 2, stating the deletion of one of the game's biggest symbols of wealth. Upon being the first to do so,
<laughs> oh my gosh. So, Arkham's profile was bombarded with several comments, and posts on different forums across the web started to ridicule his actions for the amount of value he deleted within seconds. But despite removing his main... Oh, yeah. You just gotta press that delete button and it's gone forever, guys. Oh my gosh. I am good on doing that, bro. I'd sell it, man. I wonder how many of the them are in the game, though source of anguish, Arkham did not feel this was enough, and continued his actions of removing hundreds of dollars worth of TF2 items from his inventory by putting them up for a raffle, just hours after deleting his golden pan. Bro, said I'm glad. He made it public that he was glad to have deleted his- What if, what if they didn't even get mad at him for doing it, bro? Then he'd, he'd be out of money and not even get the attention. Pan, but for years and to this day, remains publicly spiteful to those who visit his profile in order to ridicule him. Was a thousand comments for deleting the golden pan. A consequence of the pride he once shared with Midas of the meaningless wealth he possessed. With King Midas having said to have died from starvation from his instinct to have blindly chosen immediate wealth as his wish, and Arkham's fate to forever be tainted as the first person to have deleted his golden frying pan, which to this day still holds a relative price accounting for inflation. To this day, people will still spend thousands of dollars with pride and repeat the same missions for countless hours, all for the alluring idea of instant wealth and materialistic fulfillment unaware to how holding that much can give you the opposite Dang, i really wish you had mentioned how much it was worth how much st it's still worth though guys it's sentiment once you do you still say thousands? Come to the realization that much of it is unnecessary. The cycle only continuing for those who just start to get a taste of wealth before like he's not even using the golden pan or bro. possibly meeting the same fate as midas oh my gosh Gets golden pan, deletes it, not elaborate full, further leaves. He could have traded it, he could have gifted it, but he chose to destroy it in a way. This is such. I mean, if it broadcasts everybody to everybody that you uh, destroy it, I'm sure he's like, okay, let's let's go viral. Let's destroy it. Somebody will make a, a video about it eight years, like uh, five years later or something. Eight years later, actually. Are you still mad? Stay mad. What a legend. No, it's only a golden pan, bro. He wants to go. My MVM buddy, uh, buddy got a golden pan. He immediately got sworn. Told us he was tempted to delete it because of that, and I can't blame him. Best part about getting the pan, everything, everybody, including him, joked about getting the pan too. Dang. Wish we know how much it's worth, guys. No one's really mentioning how much it's worth. Such a great community. <laughs> I mean, it, it's only a thousand comments on his profile, but he could have traded it. And destroyed what everyone seeks. Makes me sad, brother. Just makes me sad. He could have shared. He could have gave it to big fan of or something. But yeah, that's a video. Check out Orange Glazer in the description. I'll see you guys in the next video. I uh, do all my reactions live on Twitch. And uh, yeah, maybe consider becoming a subscriber or something. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Like, comment, subscribe.